Hi, this is Mr. Jeffrey with the Achieve K-12 Online School. Help video for Consumer Math Section 2, Part 2. As you can see here, we're going to be using an APR table to find three different things. First, the, first the monthly payment and the total payment, and then followed by the interest paid on the loan. These are oftentimes used when you take out a larger loan amount, so we're going to be talking in thousands of dollars paid off over maybe the course of five years or so. We're going to do a couple example problems, so let's get to it. So here's the first example problem that we're going to take a look at. We're going to first focus on our first step here, which is finding the monthly payment. You can see we have our APR table here written uh, in. Again, these examples are directly out of the textbook, so if you've read that, you should see some familiarity with these, these questions that they're being asked. So on this first one, uh, we have a situation where they're taking out a loan amount of $5,168. So that's always important to know is what's the total amount that's being financed, we say. So this is the amount of money that is being taken out or that is being owed. Uh, and we're doing that over the course of a certain period of time. In this case, it's going to be for five years. And we know then that the APR, the interest rate, is going to be 13.5%. Again, all of that will dictate will dictate to us where we're going to look over here at this table. So you have to know those pieces of information. Uh, so we're looking at finding the monthly payment. Uh, so our monthly payment is figured by this kind of simple formula here. So our monthly payment is equal to the amount borrowed, or the amount financed, you might say. So that's the amount that you're taking out uh, from the the bank or the the w whatever the business is you're loaning the money from, and you're going to divide that by a hundred to find out this is the number of of hundreds, because uh, we're taking a large amount and we're making it into a more simple number. We're going to then going to multiply that by the amount that we find from the table. So it's the amount from the table, because the table here, this chart, will determine then how much money we'll owe for having borrowed that amount to begin with. So now it's just a matter of plugging in the proper values into this formula to find the monthly payment. So our amount borrowed we see here is 5,168 divided by 100 to find out how many times 100 will fit into it and then finally multiply that whole amount by the amount from the table. Well we need to use the number of years that were financed and then the APR that were being charged. So if we do it for five years and we have a 13.5 APR, we're looking at 2.301. So we're going to multiply that entire thing by 2.301. Now it's just simply a matter of using our calculator to help us finish the problem. 5,168, first divided by a 100, we see we have 51.6. Finally multiplied by 2.301 and we end up with our answer. Remember again that this amount on our calculator isn't going to be the exact amount you write down because we're talking about dollars and cents. When we talk about money, remember, we'll only have two places after the decimal because it always will be rounded to two places because that's as far as we go when we deal with money. So this is actually $118.92 because the five will round the one up to the next penny. So 118.92 then is our final answer. 118.92 then, and that's our final answer to how much we will pay each month in this situation. So let's do that same situation, but let's use a different example now. Let's start with a different starting set of circumstances. This time we're going to start with a loan amount of $5,000. And we're still taking that over the period of five years. And this time we have a different interest rate of 12.5% APR. So now again, it's a matter of using our formula here and plugging in the correct amounts. So our amount borrowed is 5,000, which we divide by 100 to find out how many 100s, sets of $100 we're borrowing. And then we're going to multiply that entire thing by the amount from the table, which again is calculated based on the number of years and the APR, APR interest rate. So at five years, at 12.5%, we have 2.251. Use a calculator, then again, to help us finish. 5,000 divided by 100, 
and then multiply that times 2.251. Remembering that the number we get on the calculator is in dollars and cents, which means two places after the decimal count. We don't have any extra here, so we have nothing that we need to round and drop off, so it works out nice to $112.55. So this then is our calculated monthly payment given this situation. So let's now move on to step two of this, which is finding the total payment. Once we've found our monthly payments, we can use that information to now help us find our total payments. So what's the formula then for finding the total payments? So the total payments is equal to the number of months that we're paying it off over. So that's first is the number of months that we're, that we're using. And then multiply that, of course, by how much you're paying each month, so that monthly payment. So there's our formula, and now it's a matter of getting the right numbers into the right places. Well, looking at our example, which I moved over here to this part of the screen, we can see that we're doing it over the number of months. Well, we have five years is the amount of time we're doing it. Of course, we can use that information to figure out how many months are in five years. So five years, multiply it by 12 months in one year. Five times 12 is 60, so we now know that this, the, the term of this uh, loan will be over 60 months. So we can plug that first piece of information. We're using 60 here for the number of months. In the previous problem, we saw how to calculate the monthly payment. So if you recall, that amount was 112.55, and so that fills our second spot in the formula. Now we have a simple multiplication, again using the calculator to help us solve from here. We're paying this 60 months, 112.55 each month, for a total of $6,753. So there's our total amount, $6,753, which again is the total payments that we're making. Remember, we only borrowed the loan of $5,000, but we're actually ending up paying back $6,753, which will then lead us into the third part, where we're going to find out how much then interest we paid on top of our loan. So to finish this problem, we now finish with this formula for interest, taking the total payment and subtracting it from the original amount of the loan. In other words, we're finding the amount extra that we paid above the amount that we actually received for the loan. So we just calculated the total payment in that last step, so we're going to use that information again to finish solving this problem. So interest is equal to the total payment, which was $6,753, minus going back to the original loan amount over here of $5,000, lets us find that difference, or that amount extra that we paid. We can see that our interest then is $1,753. So I hope this video helped you and, and helped it showed you how you need each step along the way to get to the next step as in we need to find the total monthly payments first which will then help us find the total payment that we made which then helps us find how much interest we actually paid and how to use then this APR table to help us identify the proper number to use when calculating our interest here.